Welcome to the Lost Shepherds Ministries International, headed by God's servant Joseph Asikoyaba. God's people, if the virtues of the kingdom is preached and all we do is to hear without experiencing it, it's fake. Our gospel will have no effect, our life will not change if all what we hear, we don't experience it. This is the divine word fountain. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Beloved, stay tuned. Clap again for the Lord right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I think we should do one, one prayer point before. So let's be upstanding. Let's do one prayer point even before. Hallelujah. This is our month of prayer. And so it will be a sacrilege that we came to service and didn't pray. There are a few things I want to bring to your notice before we pray. Number one, we don't have too much prayer. We don't have like, I've prayed too much. If you hear anyone saying that is a lie. He said, men ought to pray always. Paul said, he said, I wish above all things that men will lift up holy hands praying everywhere without doubt in their hearts so there's no man on this earth who say i've prayed too much it's a lie it's impossible you can't over pray but you can under pray say bigger amen. amen yeah you want to stand at the place of prayer in the name of the lord jesus can we go to psalm 23 psalm 23 let's go there psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want now do you know this line b what it means when you say i shall not want huh. the lord is my shepherd i shall not want many complications of life comes from want 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 i repeat many what complications of life comes from want the moment a man is admitted to the place of want he can do anything sell his morality sell his values sell his principles why he is in want he is in want the bible is saying that the moment jesus becomes your shepherd you will not want that's to say you won't be in a position to be in need of something that because of that you must lie to get you must sell your principles to get and that's why hear me carefully in christianity they lied to us many years ago that all what you need to do all what you need to do on this earth is that just make heaven and i'm telling you it's not true it's not true because if god want if if god's intention was only for us to make heaven then the day you you got born again is the day you will die because that season or those moments you are what you are holy your sins are forgiven you and so god will say come home we are on this earth sir for a serious business we want to establish the kingdom of our god the what kingdom of our god hallelujah we want to we want our lives to affect others influence others and then bring many people from hell from darkness to light say bigger amen. amen and this can never be done if you are in want <laughs> it can never be done if you are a watchman or we we'll say a security man in a company you can't say that at 12 p.m we are we are we are doing what lunch lunchtime prayer you can't call that short you'll be sacked but the ceo there can say compulsory by force this is my company every two of we have what prayer time come whether you were atheist buddhist malam imam you must come i'm telling you if you are in want you'll be limited the kingdom can come on the earth say bigger amen the kingdom cannot come when we are in want the capacity to be to have sufficiency say bigger amen to be sufficient 
to be sufficient that anything you want to do it can be done say bigger amen say better amen and so this is you want to pray you want to focus on i shall not want when a man is in need morality can be exchanged principles can be exchanged you know i've been a pastor for some few for some few days now i'll say days because a day is like what <laughs> so i'll say days days now now i've met several people they come to me man of god daddy please um i'm doing i'm, I'm into this into that all because me i'm the first born in the family and you know my school fees i can't pay so i'm in fraud so i'm into men i'm into this i'm into that want want you want to pray in your christian walk if god sir if god don't help you if god don't help you to have what you call sufficiency to be sufficient to have enough i'm telling you you can't do much you can't do what you can't do much grace is sweet but money is good you do you hear that grace is what but money is yes money is good please anytime god give you grace let the grace work in return of what let money was be, be added say bigger amen i'm telling you you want to pray you want to pray we want to affect our generation we want to affect the systems of the world but we can't do that in want we can't do that in what in want we can't do that in want i shall not want now when you hear i shall not want number one is abundance any man that has what it takes to say i'm okay i don't want anything there's what abundance 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 the sea will not will not mind even next 50 years it doesn't rain <laughs> it's the sea if it rains fine but it's never a prayer point for the sea or for the ocean that it should rain no no you want to pray hey christianity in want is dangerous you can't serve god well i'm telling you you can't serve god well you want to pray you say i shall not want number one is what abundance you are, you are praying against the spirit of lack and struggle what lack and struggle now lack and struggle they are twins the moment someone is lacking he's struggling <laughs> say bigger amen yeah lack and what struggle are twins you want to turn that prayer my father the spirit of lack the spirit of struggles i in this my christian journey in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be terminated say bigger amen now anything in scripture when you start to face the opposite it's not the will of god it is something cooked by the devil say bigger amen don't to pray now we have people who are working they are taking salaries yet they are still in what in want they are still in want i remember that that, that man we went to our trial with he's an hr of a, a company and then he came to me said papa please I'm shy, but I will tell you. I said, okay, sir, why? What, what, what is it? He said, sir, he mentioned the company name. Sir, I'm the HR. But before the month will end, I'll be owing my workers. Guess what? They'll be paid. When they are paid, it's owned by fits, by fits. By, so by fits, let's say if... 29 8 29 is paid by faith is finished he has to call his what is Rebecca Sally come uh, do you have five five thousand I'll give you later seven thousand uh, do you have three thousand then he will take let's say about ten people five thousand three thousand four thousand then combined combined HR is borrowed from what from eh? and he said <laughs> a building he began he began it's now over 12 years he said anytime you, the roof level he said he will he will he, he said, ah, if i get money if i get money when the money comes the time i realize it's finished 12 years that man 
is still in want. Although he did now, you hear me think that maybe when you say you are in want is when you don't have money. Mm -mm. <laughs> we have many people with money who are still in want, who are in want. Debt is, is killing them. Driving big cars, debt bigger. You will pray. Struggles, debts, all these ones surrounds the world, surrounds in want. In, but he said, I shall not want. So if you are in want, there is not scriptural. There is something wrong somewhere. That's why we are praying right now. Now we have other sir. It's a spirit. No matter what they get, it can be enough. And it can be enough. <clears throat> it can be enough. Someone got, you know, he he, he gambled and he got one million dollars at Las Vegas. And then when he got it, got it, he said no. He want to blow. He want to what? He want to blow. He kept all the one million again. Guess what? He lost it. That's why he now became fine. You have people here, they get money, they don't waste it, they can't breathe. It's like they're shaking. <clears throat> buy this, buy that. The spirit of struggle. You are still under this place. Want. That's a big guy, man. Because that spirit must make you want. So even what you, you receive, he must make sure you waste it. He must make sure you waste it and come to a place of what? Of want. A place of what? Of want. You will lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. My father, my father. Any spirit of, 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 of struggles, the spirit of struggles and lack tormenting my life, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, let it be terminated. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, the spirit of lack, the spirit of want, the spirit of lack and struggles tormenting my life, as I pray, as I pray, be terminated, be terminated, lift up your voice and pray. 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 The spirit of lack. The spirit of lack and want. Connect with my life. Lift up your voice. Shut up. Make it heavy. Let it be. You have one minute more pray. The spirit of lack. Connect with my life. Struggle. Connect with my destiny. As I begin to pray. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of lack. The spirit of struggle. Connect with my life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, your word says. I shall not want for that matter. Let that spirit operating in my life be terminated. The spirit of lack, lack, struggles. Hey, Kalabaya. I shall not want Father, as I lift up my voice, the spirit of want in the name of Jesus. Lord, as I pray, the spirit of lack, the spirit of want, Jesus Christ. Say, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. The spirit of lack. The spirit of lack. The spirit of struggle. The spirit of struggle. Tormenting my life. Tormenting my life. Tormenting my destiny. Tormenting my destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Clap and be seated. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we have people that it does not matter how much they receive, they can never and ever gather something for a project, gather something to do something landmarking. It's impossible. It's a spirit of what? Lack. The spirit of struggles. Say, I prophesy 
I shall not want in the name of Jesus Christ. Quickly, we began a series and I said last week that we'll come to a halt on that series, the mystery of godliness. Please help, the micro, help my, my, my mic for me. The mystery of godliness. The mystery of godliness. And by God's grace, we've come a long way and we are pausing and then I will come back to continue later. Say bigger amen. And this season, I want to bring you a word, a short word I've entitled, Holding Fast Unto Your Faith. Holding Fast Unto Your Faith. Holding Fast Unto Your Faith. And this may run in four sessions part one part two part three and part four part one part two part three and part four and today we'll do the part one introduction say bigger you man and i want you to be very sensitive I want you to be very determined that the mysteries that comes from the word of god will have access in your life you know people are built on the word and by the word say bigger you man and so when you are giving to the word there is one thing that you are likely to produce your life will produce systematic wonders what systematic wonders and so open your ears and listen and then um, be blessed say big guy amen holding fast onto your faith holding fast onto your faith quickly now one of the most precious things in the life of every believer that satan is interested in stealing is not your money it's not your house it's not your car not even your marriage but the most precious things thing in your life that satan will come after and will do everything possible to steal is your fate it's your fate your fate is the most precious thing that if satan want to come and steal in your life as a thief he won't steal your money because your money is worthless before satan what will he use your money for he won't steal your cars because he doesn't drive one what you will steal that is beneficial to him is your faith is your what is your faith is your faith is your faith let's go to the scripture first peter 1 verse 7 first peter 1 verse 7 let we we'll do king james and nlt king james the trial of your faith being more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Christ he's saying that your faith a trial makes your faith more precious than gold your faith is more precious than gold NLT these trials will show that your faith is the new it's being tested as fire test and purifies gold though your faith is far more precious than mere gold your faith he said it's what far more old precious it's priceless it's precious than gold and so there's a need for you to hold on to the most precious things in your life. Now we hear, when you hear, let's say, okay, when you are in rain, some of us, if we have iPhone 16, iPhone 15, some of us will prefer to be drenched in the rain than our iPhones. In fact, some of us, the reason why we run from rain is not because of us. It's because of what we consider precious on our bodies that if the rain come on us that thing 
you know, may be in danger. And so you run. Or at times you say, okay, take my phone, put it in your bag. For me, don't worry, let's go. But the Bible is saying to you right now that there is something in your life that is more precious than gold. Today, because of gold, our water bodies are being, are being, what, are being drenched in filth. People can go any land just because in their calculations, gold is what very you know valuable. But when it comes to the scripture, we are being told that if Christians should do galamse, it should not be for gold, it's for faith. Say bigger amen. Say better amen. Your faith is, is more precious than gold. And I will explain to you why the Bible puts such emphasis and premise on gold on your faith. When you here decide that you want to make Jesus Christ your Lord and personal Savior, number one. Number two, make him the Lord over your life. It is priceless. And it becomes very disturbing for Satan. He gets very worried that you decided that despite, you know, the prevailing circumstances on the earth, that's making everybody to, to misbehave, to sin, to be under bondage. You decided that despite all these prevailing circumstances, you were choosing Jesus. It gets him worried. That faith you have in Jesus, that you want to make him your Lord. And because of him, you are going to live your everyday life because of him. Certain things are there that you that the whole world may do, but you don't do because of Jesus. When someone takes this stand for God, it gets the devil very worried. He becomes worried. That's your, that, that's your faith in Jesus, making him your Lord, your personal savior, making him the reason for your life, the reason for how you live. It is something that you know the devil finds what he finds it very worrying. Very worrying. It's a bigger amen. Now, Satan plus many people get worried when people decide to give up on bad habits. Now, listen carefully. We all know by education that. Cigarette smoking is what is harmful to our health. In fact, on the pack of cigarettes, you see it boldly written that cigarette smoking is what is harmful to your health. You see people knowing all this, they can buy one pack of cigarettes for a friend. And they are very comfortable with it. They can buy for a friend. As dangerous as humanizing is, that we all know that humanizing, people have died quick, cheap, earlier, easier. Because of this or this plague of humanizing, some people can give their room out to a friend, you know, to sleep with any lady of their choice and they won't feel it and it's very okay it's very nice it's very fine as dangerous as alcohol is some people can buy 10 bottles for people at times in the club you hear them say an odogu has come so maybe one big man in the community has come there and okay, so, okay give everybody everybody belly everybody who will clap him and we, we and him knows, know, we, we, we knows that alcohol can suffocate your liver kill you they are fine with it now they find it rather intriguing and disturbing when you now say I won't do it again because now I go to church then you hear ah you guys, you guys, they, 
you guys are, you are too stupid you have allowed a, a white man to bring small bible to, con- to confuse you to confuse you to confuse you and the person saying that his grandfather in the village did not invent phones but he's using, he's using a phone Who's, which a, a white man brought that one wasn't used to, to, to deceive us but the bible did they find it very disturbing when you say okay right now is you know i won't drink again ah, why Charlie? now they are going to church they are angry all these pastors are this you guys they are deceiving you guys church there is what it's a business why are you going there let someone dress to go to club you there's no concern club 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 where people can break bottles and pierce someone and kill the person where someone can what can go high wire hay wire take gun shoot somebody it's okay let someone dress that is coming to church you hear insult but going to club you are wise so you see all these reactions we get when we try to express our faith should tell us that the devil is afraid of our faith in God fine if you think we are fooling why, why, why is your concern let me go and fool you do, you do the right thing why is your concern give money money anywhere and everywhere it's fine except church and they are stealing your money. They are stealing your money. They are eating your money. But give it to the wee seller. It's nice. I could go and buy alcohol. Whatever. It's nice. Give everybody by church. No. No. And all these things should let you understand that your faith is under an attack. The devil is trying to steal your faith. And that's why in this city you must hold on to your faith. Anything we give God is a challenge. I'm telling you. Now, if we have issues, issues with what we're tightening, and those who have issues with tightening are those who, who don't pay tight. It's very interesting. <laughs> Me, I'm paying. I, I, I'm not complaining. You who's not paying are complaining. What is doing you? And it, see, so you see, if you don't be matured enough Satan will steal your faith for free you must read the meanings into all this why your faith is under an attack this is the last days and we should expect this and much more world, much more dangerous times ahead if you are here and then you want to serve God in your convenience very soon you will be an atheist I'm telling you you are here and when it's when you feel like you be in church, and you will soon deny Jesus. I'm telling you, because the times ahead are what are more dangerous. People support wrong against right. Hmm. People support what wrong against what against right. And this is the time every child of God, you must take a what. A firm stand. A what? A firm stand. Satan wants to steal that thing you have. And I'm telling you, when I was in the world, like it was something very surprising for me that I would see that a young man is available, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't humanize. Like, it, 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 it bores me. I get very angry about it. Why can't I do it? And you are doing it. Why can't I do it like and it's nice? We'll go and drink and then we'll, you know, we'll drink and then we'll, you 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 misbehave and then all that, and then the next morning, then they are telling you what you did. And then some is so shameful. I remember one time we went to a place with my boys. Hmm. When we got there. 
we met more dangerous guys who called us into a place so we entered there and then these guys they, they you know normally those times we drink but not raw alcohol like visiting no visiting local local eh? we are time we, we, we not, we're not the local like that no we're not these guys just say, okay um please if need will be uh give these people eight thought eight thought hey like without our, our, our permission so mommy boom on why boom on why will be at eight eight then we look at ourselves like hey <laughs> ah, like did we ah, ah. so <laughs> we took it you know and because you know because we don't want to feel indifferent you know so it's okay okay yeah yeah we took it we wired he said madam more more for for ah no like for for saying like they are paying too so today not die with day for 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 Sanji, yeah. you know because we want to behave like we are what we are no, we are senior men. Then from there, so we saw a pack of cigarettes, a pack of it, three, and we were four. So, so one cup, and then one cup is what is cigarettes. So then we're, we're dancing, we're dancing. Guess what? High life. Uh, then you drink, sir. Not knowing they've bought one full bottle of what of loca and they brought weed weed in a container they poured it they lock it has been there for the past three days now when we buy i'm saying it's called laka it's a laka i was on the minus angie here masa you see the world in a different way Say big guy, man. Masa, we are we are so we are so dead, 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 I can't remember. And I had fans. People were hailing me in those seasons. But when I became born again, come and see. My boys, they were insulting me. They were insulting me. They, 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 they couldn't understand why I'm saying that I'm not born again. No. Why? I think they shall be happy for me. Like, oh, town, oh, God is good. Yeah, it's through you have changed. Then, then we all change. No, they were rather angry. One guy called me when I became born again. I was preaching. He called one day. Yo, I saw. Yo. I said, hello, who is this? Oh, they were Jimmy. And who is this? Who is this saying? Ah. Big crime, new. Big crime, new. I said, hey, my boy. Now, show her. So we are fuck, we are fucking pa. Why today we do we are because yeah, why are you so full? Jesus Christ. Now we know Mediano. Oh no, I'm not be sure we know. You're telling me that don't know I'm not be sure we know. Some Jim na make can me nyai na or co wa or the we be ba or ba even num. Hey. He has gone to get some, some hot weed. Oh, can you say me Jimmy now? Me see massacre. Me nyasa say Jimmy. Me nyasa Jimmy no. I was like, what? What kind of? So he's coming. He's coming. So Oba on page me say, young corner corner. Sir, if you don't run and hold fast your faith. What the devil will help people to send you? Hey, you can't recover. If you are here, hear me carefully. Your faith, hold fast. 
unto your faith. Hold fast. He said, your faith is far more what? precious than gold. Hold fast to it. Someone who wished to be in church. Oh, could any fair? He can't be here. He, he just can't. He just can't. Like those days, I don't know. I, I don't understand why people people will come to church, like church. Okay, then thirty days special. Mutu oho. Like, how can you live like a bar setting with boys? Boys say, oh, bar sorry, oh, then it was strange to me. Please hear me carefully, sisters. Hold fast unto your faith. When you hear that you are still a virgin, like. Hey, what you be there? Really? The first reward I will get for being a virgin, keeping myself, is that I'm a fool. Wow. You know, uh, they've made it look like there's what? Something wrong with us. Really? For doing the good thing, we are wrong. A young man is not smoking. Hey, like, like for real, actually, you. Like, are you normal? Now, cancer, men pay cancer. You ask me if I'm normal. You want cancer? Fine, me. I don't want cancer. Please hear me carefully. The way the world is going, eh, if you don't hold fast your faith, a day will come. You think you are lost. You think you. It's true. Hey. Now, nah, sorry, nah, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm Hey, no, 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 no. I think as you, as you wise up. I think as you wise up. No. In church, we are praying every day in church like this. Going to church and, you know, there is this guy coming. He say, sex before and then I'm not agreeing. I'm not normal at all. No, let me just be like them. Mm, you, brother, hear me carefully. I repeat. At the times ahead, if you don't hold fast your faith, you will deny Jesus. You will be an atheist cheaply. In fact, if you get gun, you can shoot Christians. Be very careful with your life. Say, bigger guy, amen. Say, my neighbor. Say, my neighbor. Hold fast to your faith. Say, hold fast to your faith. It's precious than gold. Very precious. more valuable than God your faith that because of Jesus I won't do A, B and C that's, that's beautiful sir it's, it's beautiful it's something strange the world can't take it the world can't understand why you are saying that you are a young man you will not engage in what I mean sexual activities unless you are married it's like it's a new thing to people it's like it's too, it's too strange. Hey, really? Is that possible? No. Are you are you okay? Go and check yourself. If you're okay, as a man, like man, man, a man, you won't touch. Hey, say bastard devil. Say bastard devil. Hear me? That faith, Satan want to steal it. When the devil sees you in church, he gets surprised. Ah, what can I do to get this guy out of church? Yeah. He wants to destroy you and the only place you can find what? Refuge is what? Is in the house of God. That's the only place. Some of you, there is cancer on your forehead. It's waiting for you. How will it come? Through what? Through smoking. But I'm saying, oh, sorry. She's a wejai. Jotty wejai. We you be able. So how will it come? The devil will do everything possible to get you out of church. To touch you. Be very smart. Oh. <laughs> be very smart. I saw a video very, very sad. A lady who was once known in this country who could shake the buttocks and then guess what? Men will go haywire. And it's so sad that saw a video of her and then she stroke smitten and stricken. Stroke smitten and stricken. 
and I and, and, and then I was like wow those who, who don't know this lady may think <laughs> like this, this this nobody no sir he was more what very influential than what than many politicians an MP let's say if your area you are all 18,000 where is he a what her followers on Facebook or YouTube and TikTok and Instagram is about ten, five of six what constituencies combined very influential say big guy man and today stroke if you bring her short things to wear can she even wear it hear me everything has an end everything everything has an end so please you're fooling today let it end today you are here you play game with god you play hide and seek and then church tomorrow you are here you are here no sir mwao mm. if you know how people are rushing sir i saw a video by someone who was advising young ladies to pray i said eh! how much is her name she, she did like she said you should pray you should pray here on here you should pray i said eh! i said yeah if these people are around to come <coughs> people say you should pray now you in church what should you do now be rather when we see those out there you know they entice us you see things out there someone is, is has done about five pier, piercing six now fair mm. Mm. why are mm. you see a, a dress worn by someone one one worldly musician now you are dying Aye. Who did this to you? Say, my neighbor, your faith is under an attack. Hold fast your faith. Oh. Say, hold fast your faith. Oh. Say, hallelujah. Let's go into scripture. Luke 22, verse 31. Luke 22, verse 31. Quickly. Okay. This between Peter and Jesus. They had a conversation now the one speaking now is jesus he says simon simon satan has asked to sift each of you like wheat continue but i have pleaded in prayer for you simon that your faith should not fail So what did Satan try to save? His faith. So he said, now, Christ's, pray, Christ's prayer will let us know the intentions of Satan about the word, the safety. He said, your faith would not fail. Now, watch here. I want a sheet of paper. Can someone help me? Please watch here. What is this? What is that? Let me show you what it means to save something. This Peter, this is faith. This is what the what a devil want to do to him. Want to fly off the faith. Shift. It's a metaphor that's used to express someone being torn apart or broken in pieces. And it was his faith that the devil was trying to do all these things to tore apart his faith, break in pieces pieces his faith and then jesus said he said what he said but i have pleaded in prayer for you that your faith should not fail god's people satan want to save your faith he wants to 
he wants to he wants to make you fall he wants to make you do what fall so everyone here plus myself you have to be diligent in holding fast on your faith this is because satan is interested in sifting your faith say bigger amen say better amen now hear me carefully the same way we have what you call heart failure we have faith failure too that someone could be a very serious christian a very spiritual fire brand young man or young woman and then guess what a time will come when they tell you this guy this is what he's doing you can almost you know curse and say no if, if, if indeed he did that i should die and guess what you will die your faith can fail say it can fail say it can fail say it can fail now if you are here and then let's say you've you've you say you've you drive you understand when your brakes what fails where you don't want to go to that's where you'll be going if, if there was anything before you your confidence all this while was the bricks then you, you get you got there and then and then guess what they can't respond you are seeing danger you cannot dodge the same way when a man fit fail he can see sin he can't control himself no he can't he know this is sin i may even die in it but don't worry let's go what can we do don't wait till your faith gets there right now examine yourself there are things that mm, these days you feel funny difficult to pray funny difficult to read bible defeat now you can watch movie for five hours you pick bible one minute you are dozing off one young lady who i forgive her because she was new in the church at that time and she said daddy you know what if me i want to sleep eh, i just take the bible and i will sleep i said yeah this one should be crying you know she was happy telling me that you know that's the word her sleeping tablet if she can't sleep just put the bible to read Obedience is here. She was happier saying that. Because this time say, Me, for the past 15 years at church, I've never been in church before. <laughs> yes, that's me. Hey. Someone is missing somewhere. Hey, me, they mean, Sao Masoni, they mean, Sao Masoni, they mean, Yeah, no, yeah, no. In your brio. In your brio, okay. Why are you? Say, bigger, yeah, man. Now, hear me carefully. Your faith can fail. And because of that, you have to put in the work. Do what? Put in the work. You have to. Anything we do that spirit is involved, there must be some sacrifices. Even two human beings in a relationship if that relationship must be profitable and must last for a long time one must know how to what? sacrifice even married people sacrifice I'm telling you just yesterday I had a privilege to be with a be with my children oh boy it was like the whole world was carrying carrying me ah, i couldn't breathe well ah, you paid this one hey, hey hey oh my god and guess what what i was doing hmm. i said this is what my wife has been has been doing all this while from there i say I said, Madam, God bless you. I respect your, your, your grace. But this one, I don't want impartation. I don't want impartation. No, 
I respect the grace and you know, sacrifice. That's between two human beings. Though. One is trying to sacrifice so that the relationship can what? Can be profitable. It can go on to the next level. That's human beings. You're a young man. You want to date a lady who is very what? Who is very sophisticated. <clears throat> you are from PPRC. And then God stepped in, and then you appeared in Kenya University and then Legon or whatever. And then right now, God has helped you say, Unko Ekrasi BM, what's your round? So, would you, you know, for you, if you get your Gary, you are fine. In fact, you are very grateful. Grateful. Kinky without fish, you are, you are, you are, there's no challenge at all. You are very comfortable with it. And in fact, you can even eat banku and sugar. You are fine. You can match it. You are, you are fine. Then you now began to what? Began to date. And this lady, this lady, uh, every morning, you know, there's omelets. Omelette. Even you don't know what, what omelette is. Even right now, I don't even know what omelette is about. <laughs> Say, you know, and, and she tell you that, you know, in my breakfast, I want white rice, um, scrambled eggs, you know, vegetables, and then corned beef mixed together. They're like, eh? And then this is the someone you have to be in what relationship with. Someone must sacrifice. <laughs> Say amen. Yeah. That's if you want it to work. And these are two human beings with different upbringing and backgrounds. Unless one sacrifice. Then you are not coming to meet a spirit. That God is what? A spirit. You are a human being. And you want to walk with a spirit. And you think that you can sacrifice? Then you're not willing to do what? For this journey. It's a bigger amen. What he wants, that may not be what you want. And guess what? Now if it's two people, one day he must sacrifice for you Another day, you must do it. But with God, every day, you will sacrifice. You will sacrifice. Every, every day, he doesn't care. Every day, he's a spirit. And so Satan will now start to give you ideas. Why he thinks that you're wasting your time. Number one. Number two. Why he thinks that uh, this thing called Christianity is, is too demanding is too you know difficult eh. so if need will be why would not you just be, be a normal no, normal person have a nice time after all life is what today we are here tomorrow we are gone one guy sang a song say in heaven there's no beer that's why it's what he's drinking all the beer v very interesting <laughs> <laughs> you know, please hear me carefully. If your Christianity don't have sacrifice, your faith is not for sure. Say, <laughs> bigger yeah, man. I'm telling you, if you can sacrifice, we all we do. All, at times, you don't want to pray. You don't want to pray. At times, me, I can tell you. At times, I don't want to give. I'm telling you. No, I'm, I'm not a pastor who, who pretend. I'm telling you that at times certain seeds I don't want to give. But I'll give. It's a bigger amen. Yes. You are praying now. You hear the, you hear the, amount, the amount. Then you, you, you pretend. And God knows that you, you can hear me. So you can't. You, you, you. When you don't know, it's fine. But when God, God is aware and you are aware and the devil is aware that you can hear. <laughs> You, you, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say anything. Yes. At times, yes, you don't, you don't feel like doing certain things. And at times you feel like, you see, you, you, you see someone in the street with a young man, a young lady, they are kissing, 
just there and you have seen it like wow hey me too lord god when you have seen people competing in fornication asking god when remember many years ago I had to think about 3 million thoughts in one second I told you before I went to preach no not preach pray for a family my uncle forced me there to pray for a family that was asthmatic and whatever God healed them and then it was a whole lot and a whole happiness in the house so was I tried to leave um, the house I think the uh, was a family of about five people you know father and mother and then uh, three ladies and then one young man so there are about seven or so so one of the sisters came around so for oh my god those days I was a single young man she a bigger man with hyper everything hyper what my god and this lady came around, said, Hey, hello, da da daddy. Uh, first time, the daddy. Daddy, God bless you for coming to pray for my brother. We are too grateful. Blah, 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 blah. It's okay, fine. Thank God. So, this was our house. This was their house. So, I saw my auntie started calling her. So, I became very suspicious. Uh, like, as, like, since when, like, like, how, who is dating, who is marrying, who. I didn't know that behind behind the scenes they are they are finished me. Like jokes, like jokes, like but it was serious. I, I, I didn't know a very innocent young man who was trying to do ministry work. <laughs> Sir, I told you before I said one day I had gone to tear prayer. I was on my 18th day of a fast. 18th day of a fast highly spiritual man sir and then I was just by the gates talking with someone and then little person left and so I was just there praying in, praying in tongues in tongues build myself having a nice time and this lady just rushed keep, 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 came to stand in front of me and then and started jumping What's happening here? And she was look, looking at me and was smiling. So I was confused. So guess what? Her beast was making noise. Cha, 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 cha. Then he said, Man, so for me, said Rosso. And then he just ran back to her place and the gate was open. I said, I'm, I'm going there. <laughs> The first thought that came was not, it was, I, I'm going there today. I, I'm going, I said, I say, Jesus Christ, God, you have worried me, you have worried me, but what happened, what happened, what happened? Ha! It was just there, hey, if you are a man, come and see. Hey, 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 hey. Small seven, God, we are doing. Master, hey. now hear me careful. Now the torment I went through, even now when I went back to go and sleep, I couldn't sleep. I was seeing the images. Hey, Satan, he's a bastard. In fact, in my in my in my in my in my eyes, he will zoom it for me. He will zoom it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, say mercy, 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 mercy. Kai, say Kai. Sir, I thought said, oh, so I should go. Guess what? She was online too. I, 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 I off the phone, but still so far I could, I could just see what she did, and I was imagining things. On share draws, on share. I'm I, I'm all, I'm confessing. No, I won't say that. Oh, I, and I say Kayaba is a lie. I, sir, I, I saw the tones. I was watching. I was in my vision. I was I was imagining things in my mind. What it took me that I didn't enter the house to cause commotion there. <laughs> uh, 
Please hear me carefully. The devil will come for your faith. He will shake it. That moment, it wasn't me. It was my faith that was what? It was being shaken. You are here. Yours may come in a different light. Yeah. Your faith will be shaking like that. That you have to decide in a second. If not, you'll be, you'll be a goner for life. <laughs> Say, bigger you, man. So please hear me carefully. As we end here, I want you to know your faith is precious. And Satan wants your faith. He wants you to lower your guard so he can hurt you. The way you are going, he is missing a generation for good. Because your children will be taught the ways of the Lord. He can't have them. If he allows you to allows you to serve God the way you're doing right now, hey, no. How will he destroy your marriage? How will he get your children? How will he get you no know, get your health and mess you up? He's coming for it. He knows very well that when a man is tied to God, that man is protected, that man is covered, that man it will become a difficult thing to touch that man. He's aware of it. And he wants you. He wants you. The devil doesn't want your car. He wants you. Your faith. What is making you standing for God? That's what he wants. So be very careful. Some of you, you receive several thoughts. He will sell lies to you. <laughs> He's a master of Peddling falsehood and mischievousness, Satan. He's a master of it. He can put lies in your thoughts. Put lies. Make you see things that don't exist. Small issue, he will make. Ah, make it a big issue. One lady and her husband was fighting. So they came around and then were to address it. And ah, when they were speaking, I didn't understand. Ah, no, wait to. Oh. Wait, is that all? There is something more. No, that that's all. And they were surprised. I have not seen it the way they are seeing it. What 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 is it? The lady feels that the husband doesn't respect her. Why? They had an argument. The husband screamed on her. Screamed on her. She said, Wakanya seven times in seven times. Wakanya. And then he has been around she has been around where the the husband sisters came to the house and then did things and then what didn't watch books and he told him and when he got there he didn't seem like that to, to, to them so it's like he's choosing the sisters hey guess what this lady is working in an office and that's where the man who said papa please ask her she has been complaining to him that her what her boss is what even abuse her and insult her and I say she stop the work. She says, still she's doing it. So even if your boss is insulting you and I'm and I'm shouting on you, you are enduring your boss own and my own. You can't endure. Then me too. You don't respect me. <laughs> and it was a serious matter. Divorce, yes, would yes, and who divorce before my face. Say, you, you can't. You can't be what hey i'm not scared of. <laughs> the little the little the, i'm not scared of. once more is you shout and and they told them half a point to <laughs> office they are your boss say you are mad you go and tell your husband my, my boss you are mad so then, then stop say no i won't stop i won't stop that's how he is you are enduring for your boss by your husband i'm saying i shout oh stop that that one you are angry <sighs> and then she, she said to okay me too one i've complained that the sisters when they come don't watch the boss he didn't scream on them but me seven times now i've been screaming on me the devil just want the marriage and the children that's the bigger picture he's seeing but them, they are just what heightened emotions, and they are. So I say that you are fooling, you are fooling, you are all fooling. 
because you know they're like eh. so I said, see, think about the bigger picture it's not about what the devil wants your children they want your marriage so how can this be a, be a problem at least solve it now it's okay so mama i'm sorry i'm sorry it ends there no way there's a fool fooling, fooling. i don't agree i don't agree see there's a bigger picture the devil is a good businessman he doesn't want to make losses when it comes to you he may sell to you something that doesn't look like anything but in returns he wants something bigger that even if you are told at the beginning you say it's a lie that's what he wants right now you don't see master beating as hot as anything it's not a big deal to you it's normal you do it anyhow the devil is not even worried about the masturbation there is something you want to collect through that masturbation you know now hear me anywhere you sell there's what an what an exchange so who has those imaginary emotional field who is the producer who is the manufacturer satan so when he comes to a young man he's selling to you there is something he wants in return he knows very well that okay god can forgive you mm, it's fine if you get one today if god if you may go today you can change it's fine but i want your future god is taking you somewhere i don't want it i saw you on you you and you and i bbc i no, you can't go there give him sex take it back look at what the devil did to eve adam and eve sold for them lies gave them the apple <laughs> took what the garden be wise there is something the devil is taking from you unknowingly he is a good businessman anything he gives you there is something he takes back oh you think he gave, hey, this guy is a good guy oh just that just that just that we have sex there's nothing now hey, sister your future is gone there is your children may, now you you will stop yeah you may stop at the end of the, of the way you may become one again and then love god proper and then love god but all those moments where he was sleeping with you and all that was was happening your children that you had in your in, in your womb was being collected by him now you now marry well you, you now marry now a good man is blessing you then now child bearing then you do everything is not happening then the man the man to pressure will come so go somewhere then with your own eyes you will see a good man he just leaving your hands and you can't do nothing about it he was taken 15 years ago when you were dating that guy who had not married you but what was sleeping with you the devil used that word as a foundation to interfere with your childbearing it was an opening a creation that you gave him a license that you gave him so you have to be very smart as a child of god to know that hey my faith is what is after and there is something more than that say be guy amen when you give the devil a small place it take a big space big space young man fight to keep your faith say be guy amen say my neighbor fight to keep your faith can you clap for jesus right now <laughs> judas was a in fact judas wasn't a bad man no. there were 70 people and 58 left in one day and judas didn't follow them he did not follow them he didn't go he stayed so if you are saying judas is a bad person uh, when, when when people were leaving he he stayed but he gave the devil an opportunity to attack his what his faith anytime 
Jesus will be with the disciples. Only him, he will live. He won't be part. He will go to the Pharisees. And then it became an access point they had on him. That, now, if Judas was with Jesus, where would they discuss for him to hear that they want Jesus Christ? He was with them. And what they were discussing, they, he came and said, I can deliver him to you. Please, take heed. Your faith is precious. To stand to pray like this, to pray like only you, you have a prayer time. Maybe you join Alpha, I want to pray. You join CYM, you join different prayer, whatever it is, uh, to pray. Now, hear me carefully. The devil doesn't like it that way. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. You are a lady, you are here, you are keeping yourself well. He doesn't. He will bring men your way. Men, men will come when you are, they are serious numbers. Imagine you are here and then you are seeing only married men. Meanwhile, they have daughters, they will never do to them. No matter how much they give you, that man will never, that man bring that to you, will never wish forever that any man will touch his daughter. He will kill for it. But he's destroying you. And you can't think that this one, my faith is being compromised. I have to stop this one. I have to. To hell with this money. No, sir, no. No, I, I, I will not do that. If I was your daughter, will you do that to me? If I was your daughter, sir, will you look me in the face and say you want to sleep with me? And, and guess what, sir? Sisters, some of them, their wives are prayer warriors. They are praying. They are praying, no? They are praying on a prayer camp at Tria or Tia Because the husband hasn't paid school fees for the past three years now. And the woman is a single mother struggling all because he has met you. And all the money you are buying Brazilian hair, Jamaica hair, you are buying iPhone 16 with someone's school fees. You think God will hear her? Or the entire. You are a young man here. Hmm? You are giving all these nonsense scamming things. You don't, you don't know that. Now hear me. Even if God don't, God don't intervene, karma won't, won't leave you. Eh. Money is blood. It's what? Blood. Blood. That someone's money. You use ways and means to take it. You may smile today. But your tomorrow is doomed forever. For unless God, God have mercy on you. Or you repent. So hear me carefully. Life isn't the way you see it. Your faith every season will be under an attack. And you have to fight. You have to fight. Now they are telling us, okay, in church, there's no like, you know, for songs, they are all songs. And you can even see some gospel artists in Ghana. Doing collab with what and say, hey, and you say, no, and you know, hey, 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 you hey, 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 you play hey, you come to hip life, dance hall, reggae, raga. And you are here. And to worship you, you, you are there. Oga, my friend. Your faith has been compromised. Has been what? The devil is mortal. In fact, some, 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 sometimes he wouldn't say stop. He would say add me. Now you are serving God. Just, just add me. Don't, don't stop. Just add me to serving God. Let's serve God together. Let's what? Serve God together. Yes. So you are a young man. You pray. You pray in tongues. But add me for no. Just add me. You know, not, pray in tongues when you finish. Come and let's watch for no. It's normal. Just add me. Just what? Add me to your serving God. Add me. Don't don't leave. Uh, uh, go, go to church, but still this thing, me and you will do it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I won't stop you from going to church. Go and pray. Go and fast. Go to Apia Mountains. Come to SNI. Take through night. Yeah, you, you, you come. You come. 
just that I want this thing. Give me and then go. So someone can, you know, even from here, can go and pass somewhere. From church, oh, from church. Or buy a worship pa say for pet. Waving holy hands. It's a guy here. Ah prayer. Ah, ah you won't come. You won't come. Iapa, Iapa, Ikapa. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, masturbation. After all the fire in prayer. Abba. Say enough is enough. Say my faith won't be compromised. No. No. It's a big, it's a big no. No, I won't do it. No, 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 no. Say, devil, please. This too. No, I will not. I pray that God will help us. Say bigger, amen. That our faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you here? Clap your hands for the Lord as we close. I am I am. It's a bigger amen. Yeah. Please don't add anything to Jesus. He's enough. It's a bigger amen. Say, my neighbor, don't add. Don't add. Add nothing to Jesus. He's enough. It's a bigger amen. Yes. You know, I I I, I understand. That most of us, you know, have a young church, young people understand that at times you feel so weird when you come into the midst of other people, even colleague Christians, where you see a lady has opened the arms and say, Please come and hug me. You're like, oh no, I don't hug. You're like, hey, nah, nah, hug and swear, dear. Hey, mo dear, mo dear, mo dear. And I be beer and I'm a sum say, a dear Ben, hugging a dear. Meanwhile, young man, you know. So when you hug somebody and you go back to the house, you have a challenge. That's a lambois. You know it. You know it. But no, 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 why? Eh, so full. And you say, oh, her breast to hug you. Are you a tree, sir? Oh, Jesus. Now, and so you say, oh, in your face, nothing, nothing. I prefer to be old school. Or to be labeled too spiritual. And we say too, too canal. I don't want too canal. I want too spiritual. Say, bigger, yeah, amen. What should I hug you? No, no, I want a hug. Ah, yeah. I want a hug. No, no. Hey. You are teaching your waist. You, you, you want a hug. Is a hug in the waist? <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, my father, help me. That I won't compromise on my faith. If you are here, clap for Jesus right now. Before we close, let me let you know that you are not alone. It's a bigger amen. That one day, Elijah said, I'm the only prophet left. There were thousands in the cave. Thousand prophets. So when, when you come to a place where you feel weird, we are many here. You are what? We are many. Don't feel weird. Say bigger amen. amen. Don't feel weird. Say bigger amen. amen. Ah. Drinking, I won't join you. Don't feel weird. I went to one church. What? <laughs> I don't mention the church name. And I saw that they said they do offering. So people having food staffs on their head. And I saw beer. <laughs> now, that time I was I was not born again, but I was shocked in my in my not being born again. I was shocked in this. I said, ah, beer. They, it's for us, or it's for us. It was on someone's head as offering to what offering. <laughs> so you know, someone having a 
like Bordier, you know, plantain, cassava, these tomatoes. No, this one, I said, like, a fufuni, a bill. I've met pastors that drink. And then they, they try to, you know, convince, you know, there's no way in the Bible that the Bible made it clear in clear terms that alcohol is bad. And they will quote in G. Now Paul catch the Timothy say, Timothy, we have to have the entire Oh, hey! Oh my God! Hey, go help us, oh! Go help us, please. Keep your faith, say neighbor. Keep your faith. Say if your faith was down today, today, let it come up. Say big guy, amen. Say if your God was low, make sure it comes up high. Be on your feet right now. If you will clap, clap for Jesus. Hold on to your faith. Amen. Lift up your hands. Can you just begin to pray for mercy? Just pray for mercy. Just pray for mercy. You can't tell your tomorrow what it will be like. Just pray for mercy. Just pray for mercy. Some people were in your shoes today, yesterday, and today. They are not with Jesus. Just pray for mercy. Just pray, Lord. I can't say much. Just mercy. Uh huh. Just, just have mercy on me. I can't say much. I can't say I will stand sure for you. I can't. I can't promise you. Just have mercy on me. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Can you pray further? Can you lift up your voice and pray? Can you lift up your voice and pray? Father, mercy, 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 mercy. Just pray for mercy. Mashada Babara Satakaya. Lord, we pray for mercy. We pray for mercy, mercy, mercy. Mercy, Lord, mercy. Mercy, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, your 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 mercy, in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, have mercy, say, have mercy upon my life. Say, big guy, amen. Clap and be seated. God bless you for listening. Follow the Lord Shepherd's Ministries International tier list on our Telegram channel, the Lord Shepherd's Ministries International, for all our sermons. This and every Sunday at the Revival Tent Meeting at KNUSD Independence Hall, Dining Hall.